Okay, so hello everybody. Today I'm gonna be making a video explaining about how the higher dimension reality works. And first I wanna say, I don't wanna call it 4 dimension, 5 dimension or anything like that because I don't wanna like put it in, uh, into numbers, give it numbers. Because <clears throat> when it comes to higher dimensions, actually there's no more division, there's no more separation. Like in the three dimension world we have separation. And we can move objects from one area to the other area. But when it comes to higher dimension, um, it's not like that. You cannot move things like from one area to another because there's no division. So there's no duality. There's and that's why numbers lose meaning. Because if there's no division, everything is one. So numbers, what's, what's the point of numbers, you know? So yeah, so that's why I don't want to say like four or five. It's just higher dimension in general higher dimension than the three-dimensional reality i actually did make, a video, did make a video before about this but i deleted it because i just was going through this phase and i thought at some point that <coughs> that, that like i was going crazy i didn't want to accept my awakening i didn't want to accept the information that i'm receiving and uh, that got me like that got this whole experience even harder for me to like, comprehend. That made it harder to comprehend because I was fighting it. I didn't want to accept my... Like now, I could even say new powers that I've been given. I didn't want to accept them. You know, I didn't want to see uh, beyond the veil. I didn't want to... I wanted to stay, you know, the same. I didn't want to let go of my old ways. And only after I let them go, you know, I can like then share this information with you that I understand. I actually even made a video where I draw, like I did draw some energetic fields of people, but uh, you know, when I thought that I was like, at some point when I couldn't try to convince myself that I was going crazy, I just like burned those papers, I burned all those drawings, so I just, like, I just drew new ones, so... So yeah, and this basically um, how going to be how I'm going to be trying to explain to you. So this is a person, okay? This is one person, and um, this person's reality is like here, like these lines, kind of pink ones, represent its reality. Now you can see there's like flowers and everything like growing around. There's a person came into this person's reality so so this is the infinite galaxy of this person like this person is experiencing from the inside out okay um and this pink line just kind of shows the kind of limits uh, of this reality which is kind of it's infinite like it's this person's reality is infinite but these lines just show like this is this person's reality and if this person comes into this uh, person's reality um they just basically, you know, they see each other because they connect in this three-dimensional world. But let's say this person is in America and this person is in Australia, right? So this person also has its own like reality and you can see there are flowers growing and everything and you know, it can travel around the world, it can do all of these things, but you gotta understand, even if this person travels around the world, or does anything, anything it does, that thing is stays in this bubble of this person's reality. Like, this person cannot just enter this person's kind of, like, this bubble of this person. That is all three-dimensional, like... But now, where the higher dimension is, and wh where it exists, is basically, it's like, this area, right? This area is the higher dimension. And this is where we are all connected. Do you see? Um, this person can live in America, this person can live in Australia. But they're still connected through this space. So, in the three-dimensional world, these people are separate, right? They're like away far from each other away from each other and that's why numbers make sense in the three dimensional world because there are different areas like australia america but when we go to the higher dimension no matter where you are in the world we are all connected through this space and so that's why we are all one and that's why 
numbers don't no, no longer make sense in the higher dimension. I don't know if you understood. It's very also difficult to explain because I'm trying to explain this information to a three-dimensional thinking and actually people who are like very stuck in their ways and they're not looking for answers I will not be able to open their eyes but the people who are at least like searching for the searching and have the intention to understand they will try to understand and they probably will so this is where this concept of we are all one comes from it comes from higher dimension because we are all one and the same in this higher dimension when I say that like we're all connected, we're all one. Um, I don't want for this to sound or to be something that means that, like, in an ego way and, you know, like how sometimes people, let's say, would do all these spiritual healings and they would realize, let's say, certain things and would realize knowledge, but the knowledge itself is more so like a tool, I guess. And still, your intention is what matters, is like how you use it, where you use that knowledge. And so, you know, it can be used in wrong, wrong ways. And then there are people who like start going, taking a route of, let's say, saying, I am God. Like, no, you, that's the wrong way. That's the wrongest way. Because then you're once again choosing the path of minus infinity, which means you're choosing the path of destruction. Because expansion goes, uh, is all about love and unconditional love and... Uh, plus infinity, okay, expansion and creation. And so, yeah, I just want, look, even when I say, like, we are all one, it does not mean that I am and I am all. I don't mean that, you know, just very important. Um, we are all one, it's just that it, this concept comes from this higher intelligence understanding of we that we understand the separation, okay? So we understand the separation, but at the same time, we understand that we are all one in a in a different like dimension in a different way like we still understand the separation it's not like i'm going you know and with this mindset i am everything and that's why we're all one please just don't get into this mindset because i feel like there are people uh, maybe even some spiritual teachers like spiritual gurus you know on the internet that would say um, and maybe they're like of course they're confused them themselves about this concept and they would kind of Imagine that like oh I am all because we are all one. No, it's not like that It's we are all one and that's because when you say I am Like I am everything There is no love in there. It's only ego. It's destruction. It's all just for me, you know And when you say we are all one, it's it's all about love because it, the word we is included. So thank you for watching